So this might be a little bit of a strange playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet compared to uh, how other people would most likely take it. Because I assume most other people would take it, you know, doing little smidges of each as they go exploring around. But that's what I'm going to try. Like, it is possible that that plan could be subject to change, but that's my current plan, at least. Thank you for coming, Master Harmonia. Have you been enjoying your time here at Naranja Academy? No. <laughs> I see. Do you remember I'm always here to lend an ear should you find yourself struggling anyway? You know, I, I just feel so out of place. I, I'm i just not like the other students. I'm like the 130 FPS student here. Like, I just feel so... So isolated, you know? Like, I'm not like the others. Because everyone else are like the freaking 10 FPS students, you know? I just feel really alone. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. That's because the kids eating the sandwiches, they are spies. But let me assure you, there's a reason why I ask you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh no, it's not... <laughs> It's not the Nintendo ninjas hearing what I've said about these games, is it? What am I doing? Ah, oh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us, you idiot. For a moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. We're gonna go on to a Zoom call. Ah, uh, the Pokemon Professor. That's not even a video. That's just an image. Oh, so it's going to fade to black and then it's going to play the actual video. So that they don't have to go to the effort of having that actually playing on the screen. They're just like, yeah, let's just do an image, fade to black, and then do the cutscene. So we don't have to render like these two different <laughs> rooms at once, I guess, or something. Hello, Harmonia. It is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. Oh, I have to press A. I was like, that's on the screen for a while. The A kind of blended into the uh, fog. Uh, Professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy. As well, as a splendid researcher. It's back to an image again! It's literally just a still image! <laughs> oh, man. Well, <laughs> there's... And then it fades to black to go back in. Oh, my goodness. Wow. They really couldn't get it to play just on the screen, so this is what they did. Wow! Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Harmonia, student ID number 805C39... Or 393, social security number listed out. Three wacky digits on the back of your card being... Uh, you're the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Koridon, is that correct? Well, I mean, it's in the Pokeball. But, you know, I haven't really brought it out since then. I find it weird how your hair is moving, but your actual head is completely frozen. I find that really weird. Um, no! Why would you attempt to lie? You appear in any number of clips from security camera footage, together with Karadon. How? Literally how? I was in a cave in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere, the only time that I was out with Karadon, and it's been in a Pokeball ever since. <laughs> it's back to an image again. <laughs> not that I, I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. It's literally just a freaking screenshot that they plastered on the on the TV. <laughs> With what? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're just talking to an image. Oh my goodness. Every time I think that the quality can't dip any further. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Karaidon was once in my care, you see. <laughs> then it's gonna fade to black and come back into this. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Karaidon on my behalf? No! And yet it is clear to see from the way Karaidon reacts to you that you must be a kind trainer. Your bond seems quite undeniable. Yeah. I, uh, Karaidon's pretty cool, honestly. I just kind of want to take Karaidon and get out here. Get to a better looking place. Better looking game. Let's go, Karaidon. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Also, in a moment. Oh, 
All right, I make my grand return. <laughs> my uh, five second absence there. Um, the Guzla spoiled the answers some interesting stuff with the professor, so you're being very quiet. The professors are evil or something. I don't know. But that's my random guess if there's some spoilers there. I uh, want the frames to drop to 15 again. Let me do some tricks for the sake of the game. What? With Karide on there? Would you either have seen 3 FPS Professor in the TV screen? That's what I would have expected more. I don't know if I'd say that I'd prefer it, but it's what I would have expected more. Because, I mean, you know, it's either 3 FPS or 1 FPS. Because, or, you know, I guess would it be 0 FPS because it's unchanging. That specific thing where Bob, if it's just an image, I don't know. <laughs> they trolling. This can't be real. I'm convinced that Pokemon on the Switch is just like an elaborate prank to see like how far they can be pushing the bounds of not fleshing out their game while still selling well and it turned out to be a prank that everyone just kept buying anyway so meanwhile a game freak at the pokemon company they're probably just like oh oh they actually they actually are continuing to do super duper well crown has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle it can however take on a form of specialized form mobility aka its current form and just running in all likelihood, it'll require some time to fully regain the, the capabilities it once had. Oh, there's a sudden lighting change. I'll provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. <laughs> it seems so silly. We're just talking to a picture. Is the thing. <laughs> See how many frames it has. This bad boy can fit so many frames in it or not. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your set. It's just so silly. We're just talking to a picture. <laughs> Oh, man. Until then! Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, that was one of the silliest things I've seen in a game in a long time. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. What did Sada do? Is Sada evil? But yeah. Wait, was it? If so, I didn't even notice that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna have to watch that back and see if that's the case then. Because if so, I did not notice. Well, it seems the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Koridon. Okay. Well... It's not gonna let me leave. Hello, excuse me. But yeah, um, yeah, I know, I know that that was the uh, that was the case. I uh, I don't know what I would uh, prefer there, but I feel like I might have preferred it in that case. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's like which evil do you wind up doing? You know. Oh, you're still here, Harmonia. Oof, getting called into the director's office. I you letting that much trouble already? Uh, making videos on Pokemon <laughs> where I criticize them. Nah, no, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way to your room in the old dorms. Why did I struggle to read that sentence? Your very own private room, Harmonia. Let's go check it out. Um, your dorm room. Alright, I'll check this out. Well, what's going on over in here? Wow. This looks like something that you could have slapped together in like the secret base maker in a uh, diamond and pearl if it was you know 3d <laughs> from today on this is your room harmonia actually it's as new to me as it is to you never been in here before wow just barging in my room already she is so pushy uh maybe check out your new bed looks comfy must be pretty worn out after all this stuff happening on your very first day i am quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your pokemon healthy again I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Alright, see ya. Okay. Oh, one of these things. I've never used one of these things before, but I've heard about them. Huh. Also, I was thinking about wrapping up the stream, like, really soon. But when I briefly turned off my camera there and turned it back on, well... What that was, was finding out that I actually have some more time than I realized. So, I might go, like, a smidge longer? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see here. Uh, ready to call a day? You'll need rest if you want to be prepared for your school life. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I can take much more of this tonight. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, well, time's passing. Days quickly fly by after you start your new life in Aranja Academy. If I just don't hit A, will it just be here for- Oh, no, it auto scrolls. And at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Goody. Oh, that's a cool treehouse thing on the left I'm just now noticing. That's where I want to live. That's neato. <laughs> your pain will be your entertainment. Stay as long as you desire. Yeah. <laughs> Again, if I wasn't a content creator, I would not be playing this game. You know, it was funny. I, uh, when I was meeting up with these friendos that I hadn't seen, like, four years at, like, in line for this game, when I, well, meeting up, in, saying meeting up implies that I went there specifically, like, to meet them with Planet Mine. When I, I should say when I randomly ran into people that I haven't seen for, like, four years in line for, uh, for this game. I, I remember I brought up being like, am I the only one in this group here that's picking up this game for cynical reasons? And uh, it, it seemed like that was the case. Because all these, uh, all, all those friendos there, they seem pretty excited to play it and stuff. And uh, I was asked what uh, <laughs> what exactly my big gripes with it were. And I was like, well, you know, I have some, like the best way to explain it would just be like the video essays that go in depth with it. You know, it'd be hard to <laughs> express everything just right here. And, uh, attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. I'll finish the story after this text while I'm moving around and stuff. Please assemble the school, the school area where I'll explain in more detail. Because I think this is one of the things that I didn't mention during the, uh, during the first session. But, uh, I'll finish the story soon. It's time to do 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 I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Alright, what's this other, like, room? Is this, like, a closet or something? What is this? Can I go in? Or is it gonna prank me again? Make sure to keep it nice and clean. It's pranking me again. It's just like, yeah, you're not allowed to go in there. Um, anyway, um, my, uh, a couple of these friendos here have been around the channel during, like, the early channel days, essentially, but hadn't been around for a long time, but, you know, have seen that the channel has continued to grow from there. So when I mentioned the video essays, this one friendo of mine had told me, you know, like, I see your video essays come up sometimes, but... I'd feel weird about, you know, clicking them and watching them because I'd be like, I went to high school with this guy. And, you know, then if I watch it and if I disagree with you on some things, would I then feel compelled to reach out to you and talk about it? And after, like, such so many years of not talking, um, and I just told him, like, you know, go ahead. Like, freaking reach out to me and disagree if you want to. Like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> do so. Go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and do that. But when he was uh, when he was saying, like, it would be weird being like, I went to high school with this guy. <laughs> I laughed at that. I was like, you're talking like I'm some sort of big shot now or something. And he, uh, he did, like, the little teensy kind of motion. He was like, yeah, a little. you're definitely a little bit of a big shot. At least I'm like, no, I'm I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> Gotta go to the schoolyard. Director's orders. Okay, yeah, I guess we're going. But, you know, it's a, yeah, schoolyard. Here we go. But it's really interesting to see the status that comes with a number online like that, you know? So that's a... <laughs> so that was interesting there. Hey, we're in the schoolyard. We saw this in trailers and stuff. Um, excellent. It seems everyone is here. That text is not censored and it bothers me. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. I'm... Wait, I'm not even doing his voice. As usual, the theme would be a treasure hunt. As always, to bring more revenue into the school. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure, aka our teachers have to do nothing. The least expenses, you've all learned much within the walls of a fine academy. So aka the Pokemon approach here. Least expenses, but now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. What's the point of school if school is just go get real world experience? Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in it to something or other, discover the world that live here. Discover the Pokemon that live here. I get to know the people too, I guess. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? This feels so weird without voice acting. Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward! You know, the Switch era of Pokemon in general has, you know, felt a little bit jarring without voice acting. The thing that you would think would be here by, like, this generation of games. But, you know, it wasn't ever, like, super duper jarring. 
scenes like that, just having the text at the bottom and, you know, his lips are moving but not saying anything, scenes like that are really jarring. I'd say that the only thing that's more jarring than that is freaking Sword and Shield peers singing nothing. You know, <laughs> there's that. Toma, yeah, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclazar, we're riding out. Hmm. I, this is my first time actually seeing Cyclozar. It seems very... I don't know how to phrase it. I don't know what the describing word would be, but Cyclozar compared to Koraidon Muraidon. Like, I thought that it would basically just be like a smaller version. But like, the proportions of things like its head... It's like Mega Bloks compared to Legos. Does that make sense? Where it's just kind of like... Bulky and cheaper looking. I don't know. But yeah, let's see here. Has Pokemon ever said anything about acting, adding voice acting to these games? I don't think so. Well, are you paying for your kids to roam the countryside unsupervised? Uh, I guess so. As a case, take care, everyone. And remember, the Great Crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. What was the point in giving me a room if they just kick me out the next morning? Entering it is a violation of school rules. Can I just go there immediately then? Oh, that guy's pumped. What are you waiting for, Harmonia? Let's go. So is here where the true game begins. This is where my opinion changes and I find out how fun everything is. So wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's now saving. I guess I'll just go this way for now. Harmonia, Harmonia! Yeah, that's me! Treasure hunt. It's finally starting. Um, What are we supposed to do? Well, yeah, fair question since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. I need to tell you, I'm the leader of King Plasma, or the, or the king of, whatever. Treasure Hunt is a huge part of the Naranja Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. That was one of my things that I was confused about before this game released. It was just like, what even is the treasure hunt? Because it was all this marketing about, like, the treasure hunt and find your treasure, and I never understood what it even was. I still don't, honestly. Uh, we're just making our own adventures to see what experience Paldea has got to offer. Okay, they- oh, I guess it's raining now. That's fantastic looking rain. I love how the sky didn't change at all. It's just a rain effect. I- they could have said that in the marketing then, that it's all about finding your own adventure then, and that's what the treasure is, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they did, and I just didn't notice. Like, I- I feel like if I say something like that, there's gonna be someone who corrects me and is like, they actually did say it. Um, you can try to be Pokemon gyms. You can help out people in need. You can hunt for a real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. There's stuff we never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. I don't know why it, like, lags so much whenever it's, you know, preparing for a fade transition. Plus, there's so many chances to battle. It's obviously perfect for me. I like how the clothes details change for, you know, being wet in the rain. Again, like, the general trainer models and the clothes and stuff in this game look fantastic. Uh, you and me for sure got a battle to run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. No! Oh. I'm fighting this adventure so much. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. Okay, I should do that. <laughs> What's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. By telling me the game mechanics. Hey, Harvin! Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to Harmonia whether he goes. Harmonia's gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on someone like chasing after the champion rank. Is the hacker gonna speak up on my phone now? No, because Harmonia's doing my job, hacker voice. I forgot to do the hacker voice. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the layers of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. We're gonna get high as a friggin' kite. En serio? Look at filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Harmonia whether he goes, right? If I'm committing to the gym challenge, I find I feel kind of bad about not following the path of our long-haired guy friend out here. Otherwise, I totally would, but you know, I have my reasons for committing to the gym challenge. You know, I want to see what's going on with the league music and stuff. Yeah, they probably should have <laughs> held off on those. The, the hacker is going to speak up. Harmonia, <laughs> your phone's ringing. 
Hey, Harmonia. Snake here. I mean, Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? About destroying Metal Gear. Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry with your skills. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. Alright, uh, so these are the five leaders there. My goodness gracious, the, the top one there, the fairy one, looks like a type of character that I would have seen in Tales of Vesperia, but with, like, the most <laughs> outlandish eyes. Uh, <laughs> the fine crew. Whoa, you uh, are very colorful there, aren't you, Mr. Fine Dudo? The poison crew. Oh, yeah, the freaking thumbtack-looking hair there. The fire crew, the one seen in a trailer is there. And the dark crew, who looks like he's, I don't know, an avid golfer. Something. Starfall Street. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? I'm Team Star. Those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Harmonia's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me to make the craziest joints you've ever seen. I thought it was up to Harmonia to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona and Arvin? <gasps> Legasp! How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Harmonia. Bye. <laughs> what was that all about? Harmonia. I'm glad you're making plenty of fr plenty of friends here. But oh, the rain's gone now. That was the, like the shortest rain ever. Trying not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We got an adventure to start. <laughs> no more weird vibes. That's really a line in this game. We're gonna battle every single trainer I meet. I love that that's a line in this. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Okay. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but you're, it's your call what you, what you do, Harmonia. Why am I struggling with words? Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. <laughs> yeah, um, a treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be my, uh, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. Well, what did he start trying to say there? Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best joint, I mean sandwich, you've ever had in your life. He's literally making us pot sandwiches with Herba Mystica. Ah, what do you come out for? These do not like each other. Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> Yeah, it's my sandwich power motorcycle. Well, you're not getting one. Seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Harmonia? How to ride? Press the plus button to jump onto Coridon. You'll find you can get around more quickly. When you're on Coridon's back, you can press the B button to have a jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the plus button again to get off Coridon and walk. Okay, so it wants me to press the plus here. Eh. The sniffles. Whoa! My not motorcycle motorcycle. Whoa, it transformed! All it did is make the wheels bigger when it doesn't even use the wheels. You know, it really looks like some kind of weird cyclazar. As lo long as you've got Coridon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea's your cloister. <laughs> hmm, yeah? Maybe. Well, if you're gonna search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Harmonia is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate right after you said, uh, I can go do whatever I want. That's <laughs> the case. I'm pretty sure the follow their concealed darkness. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. <laughs> Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Harmonia. 
All right, bye. Well, the treasure hunt. The treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is held by the academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go and search for a treasure all your own. Okay. Okay, I, oh, now I can move. Oh my good gracious. Oh, Sprigatito's still out. Were you just running through Coridon for a hot second there? I don't know if my depth perception is just all messed up here. So, oh, yeah, you basically just go through. Weird. Are my Pokemon healed up? Yeah, they are. They are. We're fine. <laughs> Good luck keeping up, I guess. So. Oh, that feels like a very robotic-y kind of jump. Uh, we. How do I glide? Do I get that later? Whoops. I don't know. I thought I was playing Breath of the Wild for a second. I hit X. We. So, out the west gate, right? Oh, how do I check my map? Um, hold on. Let's see here. But yeah, turn required now, just jump on a spirit spring? I don't know what this is a ref. Oh, I do know what it's a reference to. I'm silly. So that's what they're called? Spirit springs? I honestly didn't know that. So hold on. Wait, where's the map? Is it Poke Portal? No, it wouldn't be this. You can circle terror raid battle. Where's the map? How do I access it? Bag, boxes, picnic. Can I set up a picnic in the town? I'll ride it. Poglono. Where's the map? It's Y. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a weasel here. Okay. There's no other Pokemon anywhere else. Oh, zoom in that close. There's still not Pokemon anywhere else. It's just the game really wanted to let me know that here specifically there is a weasel, apparently. So, hold on. So, wait, what are these then? What is that? I guess I'll find out as we play. But yeah, <laughs> just to make Elden Ring references to cope. So, gym badge bug? Does it say, like, what level they'd be? See more. Um... Is recommend is a recommended first stop for anyone considering taking on the Pokemon League. So yeah, this is out the West Gate. So this is supposed to be the first one, then, huh? Is what that seems to imply. Though sweet as a treat, this baker of bug-themed pastries shows a bold streak in battle. Okay. Um, Victory Road. Let's see here. Psychic type users are a real force, even among gym leaders. Shrines cosmetic spread. So yeah, there is no like for sure definitive order then, but like I guess that you know. In terms of level, it'd be this one first, and then who knows. So that's a Team Star thing, Rebob. So yeah, it's basically just go around the world and figure things out. Okay, so the other gym leaders... Oh! Oh, this makes it easier, I think. So yeah, 8 for Victory Road, 5 for Starfall Street, 5 for Path of Legends. So if I did want to commit to 1 all the way through, it'd be easier to do the other ones. But I really want to see what's going on with the weird league music situation is the case i <laughs> no i'm not going that way wait i should read the description to see if it gives hints about i can't pull up the description here i i need to zoom in to be able to see the description that sucks where is she i don't even know where she is anymore she was over here right look she was right over here i just want to see like what order it roughly oh, here she is jeez uh <laughs> My goodness gracious. Electric type user and hit streamer. No. It's adored by the young. Her viewers' reactions are more important to her than victory in battle. Of course. And her gym test is one of a copyright for anything. Alright, that doesn't seem to give. So maybe the only hinted one is uh, the bug type one. Grass up user and ours is a first stop for many fledging trainers. Alright. So uh, this is one of the first ones as well then. But is this the first one? Roughly? Is a recommended first stop for anyone considering taking the gym challenge. It's probably this and the grass. I don't know. Maybe. I can go that way. My Sprigatito is at a bit of a disadvantage. So I have to use some like other Pokemon. Be the case. I still have no idea what the heck my team in this game is going to look like. I guess at this point I can look up the Pokedex and start getting some ideas. I mean, wait. If the world is just open now, does that mean that I can go to most places in the world? And if I look up what Pokemon are available where... And figure out like what I want to put in my team. I can just go and get them right from the get go instead of having to wait until later in the game, like other Pokemon games, until I get to the route that they'd be at. Can I just do that? Maybe. Hey, it's me, Nimona. 
We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decide to, st to set out heading west from the school, right, Harmonia? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortondo. That's where you'll find the bug-type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, Harmonia. Good luck. I'll call you soon. Just keep going west. Sure, I'll keep going west. I just want to start exploring into the world before we end things off. Loading.